Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I am going to do one more recipe for you guys out of my grandmother's uh, old cookbook. And uh, this is for pear jam. And pear jam is one of my favorite jams. I know several different ways to make it. And uh, I'm going to make the recipe off of uh, my grandmother's uh, writings here. I'm going to read it to you. It says pear jam, eight pounds of pears, six pounds of sugar, four lemons, a cup of water, and a half a cup of candied ginger root. And I am actually going to uh, half this recipe. I'm going to do it with uh, four uh, pounds of pears and uh, two lemons and uh, three pounds of sugar. So basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the pears. I'm going to cut up uh, the lemons and I'm going to get that in a pot with the sugar, and I'm going to bring that up to a boil. I'm going to let it cook down a little bit, um, add my candy ginger, and then I am going to fill it into the jars right there. And uh, then we're going to hot water bath it for 10 minutes, and uh, we're going to see how it turns out. Like I said, there's no other instructions on that other than what she has written down there. So we're going to play this one by uh, ear and see how it turns out. All right, I got my... Uh ingredients prepped here. I got my uh, four pounds of pears peeled and cut up and we're going to stir these pretty good so they're going to break up as they're cooking. I got my two lemons cut up and this is about two-thirds of a cup of cut up lemons. I got my half a cup of water and then I got my quarter cup of candy ginger. You can buy um, ginger but it's really easy to make candy ginger so I just uh, made my own. So now show you here. I'm going to get this stuff in the pot. I already got my uh, three pounds of sugar in the pot. I'm going to add my lemons, my water, and then my uh, candy ginger. And now we're going to get this uh, cooking and we're going to let this cook down a little bit, um, break up the pears good so they're uh, good and soft and then we're going to pack these into pint jars and then I'm going to hot water bath them. All right I have things uh stirred up here a little bit and uh, I got this on medium heat and I'm going to bring this up to temperature slowly because of course I don't want the sugar to burn. One thing that I want to mention um, real quick that I mentioned in one of my other videos when I was doing stuff out of this uh, cookbook is the lemons. They wouldn't have had lemons year round. They would have only had lemons in uh, probably December around Christmas time because that's usually when they brought citrus fruit up here um, to the north. So these pears would have probably been put in a, a bushel basket and put into a either root cellar or into a cold basement um, from the time they picked them in September or October until uh, December when they would have uh, started to uh, cook and utilize this stuff when they could have gotten all the ingredients. All right, I'm going to get this uh, heated up here and uh, we're going to get it uh, bottled up in the jars. Okay, this has been simmering about an hour. I uh, stirred it at first and uh, as the fruit started to get soft, I, take, uh, I took the potato masher and I started mashing this. I'm actually going to let this reduce a little bit more yet before I get it in the jars and then get it in my hot water bath canner. All right, you guys can see here what the consistency is like. It's like a uh, sort of a chunky applesauce. This should be thick enough now that it'll set up. Um, this has been cooking for about an hour and a half, so I'm going to get them in my... Uh, jars over there and we're going to get them in our hot water bath canner. I got the uh, jars all filled up now. It gave me an extra half pint so I got um, four and a half uh, pints out of this and then I got just a little bit extra there that we're going to use for fresh. I'm going to bring this up to a boil now and I'm going to let this uh, hot water bath for 10 minutes. All right guys well uh, my uh, jam is hot water bath and I thought I'd give this a little taste here let you guys know what it tastes like. I love pear jam it's one of my favorite jams I think I said that before. There's something about the lemon and the ginger in this. It's just a hint of lemon and just a hint of ginger. 
and it's just in the background with the pear sort of in the forefront. So it sort of tastes like a pear flavored applesauce with the accents, I guess is the best way that I can put it. But it just got a really unique and it's got a really good flavor. But anyway, when it's uh, all done hot water bath, I'm gonna come back to you guys with a wrap up. All right, guys, it's been a couple of hours since this hot water bath that had a chance to uh, sit a little bit and cool. All the jars are uh, sealed. Kind of take a look here. Starting to set up after this sits overnight, it will uh, it'll set up a little bit more. Um, it made four and a half pints with a half a batch because I only did a half batch from my uh, grandmother's recipe. So if I did this with the uh, with a full batch, I would uh, I would have probably nine pints or so. But uh, I just wanted to show this to you guys here after the chance to cool down a little bit. Looks very much uh, like applesauce, but I had a lot of positive feedback on uh, the recipes and the home remedies out of my uh, grandmother's old cookbook there. This is just another one that I want to share with you guys. Um, Pear Jam, like I said, is just one of my uh, favorites. I'll make sure that I write down the uh, um, recipe in the description for you guys so uh, you guys know the uh, times and stuff that I use to uh, cook this with uh, grandma's recipe but anyway it's modern refugee appreciate all my subscribers out there hope you guys uh, get a little information a little entertainment out of this video as always and you guys have a good one